press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Right. So, um, one observation that I've had, I've known you for many years now, is uh, that element of perfection that you try to bring to almost everything, be it the interviews, be it the uh, promotions, how crucial is that? And you make it look very effortless. You are totally bindas and cheerful <laughs> and chirpy, but you're making sure that everything is perfect, whatever you're doing. How important is that streak of perfection for you? Oh my God, actually, I think perfection is an illusion. So I don't chase perfection. There was, for the longest time, I did. You know, um, for the longest time, I wanted to be perfect. And the more I wanted to be perfect, the more <laughs> I'd see my flaws and my faults and my limitations. I think with, with some amount of maturity and experience, you realize that the, what is perfect for you may not be perfect for someone else. You know, so that or what is perfect for you today may not be perfect for you tomorrow. And you realize that there is no point chasing it. It is an unattainable um, goal. So. I think I stopped chasing perfection, but what I try to do, Faridun, is I enjoy whatever I do. Um, there are good days and bad days, and sometimes you're in a bad mood, and sometimes you don't feel like, you know, working, or sometimes you've just, I don't know, you've had a fight at home or something <laughs> like that, and you just don't want to. So, but to realize that, okay, I'm human. So today, I'll, I'll do the best I can today. You know, it may not, there is no, uh, yardstick, or there is no measurement of best. I can do the best that I can today. Tomorrow is a different day. So I don't compare. I think that's also very important. Again, when you were talking about pressure of performance, the one thing I will say is that my parents never compared us to our friends. I had friends whose parents would say, Are, dekho, usko kitna mila hai. You know, you're not working as hard. I have friends who've been through a lot of insecurity because their parents have put that, you know, they've constantly compared them to the next best. But there is no end to that. I think to compare yourself to anyone else is pointless. And today, all the more with social media, you know, my God, you see pictures perfect, picture perfect lives, picture perfect bodies, and you think, I'm, even I go through that sometimes. And, uh, it's difficult not to get consumed by it. So lately, I've started, I of course post on Instagram and all that, but I don't check anyone else's. Um, like I don't, it's not my pastime anymore. It used to be at one point, but I've realized ki that, that, you know, can ruin your peace of mind more than any, anything else. How many of you keep checking social media in your free time? Come on, be honest. No, more, more, more people. Come on, I know 90% of the people in this room do that, no? And it's absolutely fine. But to realize that you can put your time to better use and to feel better about yourself. You know, in the past year, Faridun, you asked me one question, I've given you 10 answers. Mujhe baat karna bahut acha lagta hai. If you haven't figured already. But, um, you know, in the past year, I've realized that I can do a lot more reading. I can watch something. If nothing else, I can sit and watch the... I live on the beach, so I sit and watch the waves. And you know, sometimes you get answers to questions in your head when you're just silent. Not sometimes, I think most of the time. So I don't meditate yet. But when I do things like this, no, solutions appear. So I think it's much better to do these things than to compare yourself. That's wonderful. Uh, she recently did a Instagram live, and the beach was there as well. And, uh, <laughs> we are live on Instagram. <laughs> I saw, I saw your, your Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I think that was a much deserved um, ovation. Now, um, you are saying that you don't check other people's Instagram, but everyone within the industry, they are very keen to find out what you are doing because uh, really? you are a role model to many of the actresses. Wow, that's good okay, to know. Okay, now you've, you've just had a 200 crore film in Mission Mangal, yeah. a film that was primarily helmed by women. How do you think a film like this can help more such films which are backed by women in future? 
I think already in the past 10 years, I've seen, when I was doing No One Kill Jessica, they thought, a little si film will come and go and go. And it did very well. You know, that was a phase when the game was changing. Right. I had just done Ishkia, I had just done Jessica, of course, I followed it up with Dirty Picture and Kahani. But tabhi, it was still, you know, Ekad film mein aise release hoti thi. Today, more female-centric films are being made. They're doing better business. And Mission Mangal, of course, we can't take the credit solely. There was an Akshay Kumar who's a huge star, and it helped us immensely. You know, it was headlined by him. But um, today we might still need that. I'm saying in a few years, even that will change. Tomorrow we'll do a 200 crores or a 500 crores without an Akshay Kumar, hopefully. Wow. <laughs> I think that deserves an applause as well. You know, I, I don't expect change to happen overnight, Faridun. So when people keep saying that, you know, um, it's still called female-centric cinema, isn't that wrong? Isn't that itself? Um, some sort of, um, you know, sexism. I feel it's not. We've, it's only now that these kind, kinds of films are being made and they have a chance at the box office. You people are buying tickets and going and watching them. You know, we're going, able to make more films. So as of now, it's okay if it's called female-centric films. Yeah. Someday, you'll just go in to see a film. The hero will either be male or female. It won't matter to you. You'll just go in to see a good story. Wow. wow. So, you know, but um, you've been part of several films and they have, they have done very well and you were the mainstay of those films, be it, uh, as I just mentioned, No One Killed Jessica, where you and Rani were there. Uh, the Dirty Picture, it was a huge hit. Then Kahani, I think, uh, rewrote the entire <laughs> boxing, Kahan, the box office of, paradigm. Yeah. So, um, there has been a very rare occasion when an, when an actress has been compared with the Khans, and that has happened with Vidya Balan. And uh, it has been said that uh, if any actress can maybe command an opening on her own name, that is Vidya Balan. So uh, you've already done that in the past itself, so it's right. not that it's anything new. Uh, but uh, going but I want forward. bigger openings. <laughs> No, I, I'm sure it'll happen. <laughs> I'm greedy. I'm sure it'll happen. There have been certain films which have been, I think, hampered by certain situations, like the way uh, Kahani 2 yeah. was. And uh, So how do you look at the way forward? I think it's a very interesting time for Hindi cinema. Right. And I really look forward to this decade. As an actor, as a female actor, at 41, I can tell you, I'm amazed at the variety of roles and the kinds of films that I'm getting offered. And in the past 10 years, year on year, that scope has just in increased and expanded. Right. So I think it's, I, I look forward to it as a time that um, is very exciting and exhilarating, you know, because for example, there are some stories, I can't talk about it yet because the announcement has not been made, but a film that I'm doing next is a genre that we've not seen in Hindi cinema before. Shakuntala Devi. No, Shakuntala Devi is releasing on the 8th of May. It's ready, as in the shoot is done. But the film after that, right. you know, um, they'll make the announcement soon and then you all will know what I'm talking about. But it's a genre that, you know, <coughs> uh, one couldn't have imagined in Hindi cinema before. And for me, as a female actor, I think it's so interesting because not only is that um, an unexplored genre, it's, I'm at the center of everything. So you know the game is changing big time. That's wonderful, that's wonderful.